In this edition of Your Alberta Online, Alberta's deficit is lower than forecast, Alberta's new distracted driving law, and CCS technology moves ahead. The Government of Alberta's 2010-11 annual report reveals the province's fiscal situation is better than expected. We had a plan, uh, we stuck to it, uh, we uh, monitored our spending very closely, uh, we were fortunate on our uh, return on investment income. Uh, we continued to fund the programs that Albertans uh, told us were their priorities and overall government uh, was able to uh, manage their spending at uh, levels uh, comparable to 2008. More information about Alberta's financial results for 2010-11 is available at the web address on your screen. This will be illegal in Alberta starting on September 1st. That's when Alberta's new distracted driving law will come into effect. This new law is the right call for Alberta, so let's keep our hands on the wheel and the, on our eyes on the road and make sure that we all get home each and every night to our loved ones and our loved ones all get home to us. This is a milestone for traffic safety in Alberta. It really is. It's one of those pieces of legislation, not unlike seatbelts in the, in the mid-80s, where I think it takes traffic safety to a new level. It certainly sends drivers a critical message about paying attention to their driving. If we can reduce collisions, you know, we reduce health service costs, we reduce insurance costs, and there's a lot of personal benefits that can come from this. I think this will uh, have a, a really positive effect, downward effect on our injury pattern in Alberta. Uh, just myself driving to work every day, I see the people texting and talking on their cell phones and they're driving kind of erratically. So. If people stop doing that type of behavior, it can only improve the safety on our highways and our uh, urban roads. More information about the new distracted driving law is available on this website. The opening of a new energy upgrader in the industrial heartland means the Alberta government has taken another step towards its climate change goals. The Shell Quest Carbon Capture and Storage Project will capture and store more than one million tons of carbon dioxide per year. CCS uh, is not just about environmental benefits. It's uh, going to support Alberta's oil sands and other industries in responding to increasing environmental, uh, international expectations for environmentally sustainable exports. It is extremely important that the Alberta government uh, have been part of this project. Um, as, as you well know, Shell is committed to reducing its greenhouse gas emissions. Shell as a single company can't achieve this objective on its own. As part of its $2 billion commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions through CCS technology, the Alberta government has committed $745 million over 15 years to the Shell Quest project. This day-long workshop with students from across Alberta is giving the Alberta government new insight into designing schools for the future. The students here today are saying, why are you, why would you put one section here and another section here and create such a, uh, a congestion when we have to change classrooms? Why wouldn't you do it this way? And you know, of course, we all look at each other and say, well, geez, that makes sense, but we never thought about it. So it's, uh, it's very interesting. Maybe have like the green area right here. And then like you were saying how like science in area could be here. We've been talking a lot about like wide open spaces and like a lot of like social and collaborative areas as well as like high environmental standards. If it's all clumped together, everyone's just going to be hitting each other and then you're just going to be late for class and if they're more spread out then you have more time to get to places. We really need to have um, the students whose needs we're trying to serve, we need, we need to have them telling us what works well and, and uh, what they'd like to see in school. So I think it's just a, a great idea. The Alberta government recently announced a $550 million investment in 22 new schools and 13 school modernization projects across the province. More Government of Alberta information is available at alberta.ca and on Facebook and Twitter.